Hey, what is going on? This is Robert Dempsey from the Itinerant Entrepreneur, if I can actually get that out, uh, where I teach online marketing strategies that convert. You can see a little screenshot of the site right there um, as I'm recording this. But anyway, not here to talk about that. What I am here to talk about is this, right? Google Analytics um, and talk about some serious like cool ninja stuff with, uh, with Google Analytics. So I'm in the middle and if you even care to look at all the tabs, I'm setting up a, uh, a little squeeze page right now for, um, for my traffic conversion swipe file. Steve Scott, a new uh, online buddy. Um, of mine is uh, yeah he keeps hammering home send people to the to the squeeze page the landing page send them to that send them to that so I'm like fine Steve I've heard you tell me this like a million and a half effing times so now I'm gonna do it buddy so I'm doing it so anyway so I was getting in Google Analytics because I add Google Analytics to every site that I create whether it's a squeeze page and a landing page, a sales page whatever you know i don't care what it is i'm putting analytics on it because i want to know what's going on in every way shape or form on my site and if it's a blog though and i'm gonna have like posts and all this kind of thing i'll also add quantcast.com uh the tracking code from quantcast to it as well so that i can get some like serious demographic information google will tell you pretty much everything you need to know about people except for really kind of who they are, right? So uh, that's where Quantcast comes in. You can get a lot of that information from Alexa.com too. And I did a, a post recently at AlexWally.com on how to connect with, uh, connect with your customers without ever getting to meet them um, actually in person, right? And so that's where demographic information from like Quantcast and uh, Alexa come in. But anyway, Google Analytics. So a little... Um, note uh, something that can really help you track right like what you're doing on your website and really know really tell you whether you're getting results well those there's two things one is something really neat that I learned from Anna uh, Hoffman over at traffic generation cafe and this that's this advanced segments thing right here so I've been doing guest posting um, quite a bit. I have right now one, two, three, four, five, five that I've done. There's going to be a, a few more. But anyway, what Anna talked about in this little how-to on her site was setting up a an advanced segment so you can tell, you can kind of separate where some of that traffic is coming from. So uh, what this will do too is it's really cool. If you apply an advanced segment from here to the the Google Analytics then basically it automatically filters all of the data purely for that segment so for instance um, I had written a, uh, a guest post for uh, youngprepro.com and so we can see I got right now I got a month here um, I see these annotations we're gonna get into these annotations here real quick too in just a quick minute uh, but anyway so what Again, what this does is it applies this advanced segmentation to everything then that you then see in Google Analytics. Pretty, pretty cool. We can see that I've gotten a total of 12 visits, 35 page views. Uh, what this doesn't tell me is do these people keep coming back? Are they opting in? Although I do have some goals here set up. And so according to this, nobody is coming from there and then signing up for my uh, my email list uh, which is where you get that traffic conversion swipe file is badass grab it it's like this really chunky PDF but anyway so I can see okay you know I got a lot of good comments on that uh, that site but maybe you know that's not really where my target market is but anyway so I, I know that and that's good so now I want to just clear out my custom segments here and you can see Google has like all sorts of additional ones built in and so next, what I want to really show you, though, is this, this, uh, this uh, annotation feature here. So this is pretty cool. So I have been keeping track of these little bits and pieces of, right, of all the, the little changes that I have either on my site or, for instance, again, right, so I'm setting up the, the, the landing page, the website, purely for the opt-in form uh, for my ebook. 
So I want to track that. So I add a little annotation here. I've added little annotations from, right? So we can see here, okay, I did this enormous uh, SEO post on the site. I installed a, the tweet old post plugin. I think, uh, again, I found out about that through uh, Anna or uh, Mark at Ice Blue Banana or uh, Lisa at the Friendly Blogger. One of these awesome folks that I've connected with. Anyway, that's a really cool plugin, so check that out. Tweet old post plugin. Um, here's my guest post, uh, right? I released the ebook, so we can really track better what happens. And to create an annotation, very simple. Once you have a day range up here in Google Analytics, you just click the little dot, you click create annotation, you type it in, whatever, whatever, and you can keep it shared or private. Honestly, I don't know what this means. I always just say private. I think that's because you can. Uh, you can give other people access to your Google Analytics account. So for instance, if you have a virtual assistant, uh, he or she could, or an assistant of any really way, shape, or form, virtual or otherwise, you could have them uh, get into your Google Analytics and you know run certain reports for you or whatnot uh, and all that kind of thing. So I think that's what shared means. Shared is between all people on an account or private is uh, just me. I keep everything private because I don't like to share, even though you can obviously see my stats for January for the entire month. And uh, they're getting better. We can see, blah, 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 poof, right? So here's today. Um, I keep everything on East Coast time, even though I am in Thailand. It just kind of keeps it a bit simpler for me. But anyway, so that's enough today. So check out two of those features on Google Analytics. A, the, the advanced segments, really badass, especially if you're doing a lot of guest posting and things of that nature. You really want to measure, okay, you know, did this drive traffic to my site or was this site sending traffic to my site and then did those people ultimately convert, right? Because that's what it's all about is conversions, leads and customers. And so did they convert and also the annotations to see did what I did on this day, did it really have an impact on my on my stats. So again, I am Robert Dempsey with a itinerant entrepreneur. Come visit the site. Hit me up on Twitter, R Dempsey. Check me out at Online Marketing Strategies on Facebook. Just set up that that uh, Facebook fan page. And anyway, I'm online. It is my island, and I will see you later. Bye bye.